Perfect. So today's session is an opportunity for you to get a better understanding of what Action Funder is, why it's different from other funding, other funding websites and how to best use it. If you're already familiar with it, we'd love to hear your thoughts, you know, um, why it's worked well for you or why it hasn't yet. Of course, we're happy to answer any questions that you might have. So you can use the chat function at the bottom of your screen. There's a little chat icon and you can post any questions that you might have and we'll pick them up after the presentation. If you have any burning questions during the presentation, you can use the raise hands button. So when you go into reactions, which is the small uh, emoji at the bottom, you can click on raise hands and we'll see your hand raised. Cool, all right, I'm gonna attempt to share my screen, so bear with me for a second. Can everyone, James, can you see my presentation? It started to say you started sharing, so um, just still, but still see a black screen at the moment. Oh. Maybe try it, try it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that now. Yeah. If I move here, can you still see the presentation? Yes. Cool. Perfect. All right. So together we'll cover the following areas today. What is Action Funder? How to use Action Funder? Action Funder in action. So a bit of a case study. And then we'll cover the current live, uh, the live funds opportunities. And then any, answer any questions that you might have. So what is Action Funder? Action Funder is a funding platform that we launched in May 2021. So far, over 413,000 pounds have been distributed or is about to be. So businesses and foundations, foundations join the platform and they're launching funding pots in location they want to support with specific focus areas, uh, ranging from climate and environment to mental health and well-being to even um, animal welfare, then community groups and charities join Action Funder and upload a project that they need funding for. So for example, if you're a community centre, this could be the purchase of new benches for your community garden or kitchen equipment for the food bank that you run every Tuesday. Your projects are then matched with relevant funds on the platform. So one application could be submitted to several funders, which increases your chance of winning funding but you only, you only have to do the work once. So Action Funder was actually created to be a solution to the fact that community groups have limited funding opportunities, and usually they're quite lengthy and time consuming, while businesses that want to fund communities can't access them. So our answer is this quicker and easier grant funding process. Think of Action Funder as your grant management dashboard. After signing up, you post the projects that you need funding for, which are kind of like your funding application. And then once your project is matched with a fund and the funder wants to fund you, you review and accept the funding offer. And a side note to say that your, the funder will always fund the amount that you have specified on your project. So if you ask for a thousand pounds, you will get a thousand pounds, no more, no less. Once you accept your funding offer, you get your funding and you deliver your project. Then through Action Funder, you can post updates as well. So that's a really good way to maintain a relationship with your funders. You can say, well, we received the money and we've you know, bought the first benches and now we're about to plant the bulbs. And then you can share this with your supporters as well. So it's a good way to rally the troops. And then finally, you also do your impact reports for Action Funder as well. I'm just going to cover some of the um, questions that we usually get asked quickly. Um, so who can join? So uh, community groups and informal groups can join. And that's, you know, sports club, for example, registered charities, social enterprises, community business. You can apply for up to £10,000. Uh, however, most of our funders are looking to support projects that 
roughly between 3,000 and 5,000 pounds. And we'll have, you know, smaller grants, but 5,000 pounds, I think, is the furthest that we've had so far. You can apply for core funding, but we do recommend that applications are a mix of core funding and more project-based funding as well. And it's completely free to use for charity groups and charities. We would like to um, show you around a little bit, Action Founder. So I'm gonna hand over to James. I'll stop sharing my screen if you're happy to take on the rest. Perfect. Absolutely. Thanks, Perrine. And I'll share my screen now. This is a, a, sheen, a screen sharing episode. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Uh, hi, everyone. So hopefully you can now see my screen. Um, and I'm just going to show you a bit of Action Funder in action. Um, and we're looking here at one of our community groups that um, has registered and the dashboard that um, what we call the group dashboard. Once you've registered, this would be um, the screen that you are, are able to see. Um, the first thing to show you is just to quickly explain that the first step is when you sign up is registering your organization and that creates a profile for you. That just to show you what that looks like, this is effectively a public view of, of that profile. It's, it's for funders um, as well as other organizations to have a look at you and to see um, broadly what your organization is about, you know, um, what type of uh, organization you are, um, how long you've been set up, that type of thing, and also acts as a bit of a track record for your projects um, and to see whether you've taken part in any funds. Uh, and you can also see what, what updates you've, you've posted so far, all in one place. So that's helpful for funders mainly uh, when they come to decide about whether to fund you because uh, they can look in a bit more detail about your organization and we help um, make that hopefully easier for you because uh, you can just complete that when you first sign up um, and we also sort of encourage you to to complete that profile uh, which this organization has but if you hadn't you could click edit there and just complete uh, by filling in a few more details obviously you don't have to do that um, that's optional um, if you were to be selected for funding, though, we would require you to fill and complete your profile just so that we have um, the relevant information we need um, for due diligence purposes. So that's the profile. Uh, I just wanted to briefly show you the uh, project. So below here you see, I'm um, sorry, I'm sort of moving your faces as well so I can see my screen. Um, but you can see here a, a, a dashboard which shows the different stages of a project. Um, so this example, we have one in draft here that hasn't been published yet, so isn't visible on the platform. Published would be that they're actually out there looking for funding and, and being matched with funds. And then we've got funded, um, they've been funded uh, and complete once they've completed and, and filled in that impact survey that gets shared. So just to quickly look at what a project looks like, I wanted to show you um, an example here. So this one, let's take a look at what it looks like on the public view. Load. So here you see a project page and um, some key information about that project, uh, where it is. Oh, I'm going to my internet connection is unstable. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, and uh, a photo, a main sort of photo area where you can upload a photo um, and three questions we ask when you create a project and you have a choice of either creating a video pitch to answer them or just answering them in, in standard text format so you can see the three questions here effectively they are what's the problem that you're seeking to address with your project what's the solution that you're providing and need funding for and why are you best placed to deliver it? So this project has answered that in a, with a text uh, pitch. Uh, the text pitch pitches are accompanied by a photo. And as I say, you can also, if you prefer to answer those questions using a video um, that you can record at over 90 seconds uh, and upload it to YouTube and place it there. Those are particularly popular 
particular for um, funders really to, to get a look at and see behind the behind the screen behind the spreadsheet behind the you know the, the passion behind the project so um, do take a look at the video option when you're creating your projects we have a guide as well which hopefully breaks down the steps um, to make a video uh, and it doesn't need to be a Hollywood production it really can be um, straightforward and simple below um, the, the three questions there's just some uh, focus areas which Pri mentioned you can um, tag your project with so that uh, we can go out and connect you with the relevant funds. So here is the, some focus areas. And the second part of the project page covers the delivery plan. So effectively a budget, a budget breakdown, estimated number of ben direct beneficiaries and what impact and track, re track record you have. So, and this is what all the, the funders see when they're making their decisions. Uh, and as I said before, they can then look into your profile page to see uh, more information if they need to. So just checking here, just to show you what that uh, process looks like, you can see it in draft here, this editing will allow you to see the, the three steps of creating that project are broken down here. Um, and these are the questions we ask you to um, fill in. And as Perrine mentioned, this just gets done once. And then following this, uh, once this is actually published, we would then, the action funder would create those matches. So it would instantly look to um, match you with funds that are out there looking to fund projects like yours. Just to explain what we mean by matching, because we know that's uh, a term that's uh, fairly new in this sector what we actually mean is that when you publish a project that in its in essence if you get a match would be that you we have found a fund that's on action funder looking to fund um, a project like yours and effectively you passed the criteria you've met the eligibility criteria and you have effectively applied for that fund you will be considered for funding so a project match means that um, if you receive another type of match, which we call a, a group or organization match, that will be because you don't have a project that actually meets the criteria of the fund, but you are, your organization is based in the right location and is of the right type to be eligible to apply for the fund. So we encourage you to create a project. Um, hopefully that just explains the two different types of, of match notification you will receive. Um, I don't think there's anything I can kind of show you on screen to help with that, but hopefully that explanation has um, has helped. Is that everything, Perrine? Did you want me to cover anything else? No, I think that's about it. Okay, so I think I'm handing over to Dan now just to take us through a few of the funds that are um, actually available and, and um, on the platform at the moment. Dan, would you like me to share my screen? Yes, please, Perrine, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Hi folks, so yes, I'm just in a minute, Prima will share a screen and I will talk you through. So what we're about to see is a, a screenshot showing 10 funds that are live on Action Funder right now. And at, when we say live, they're actively open to project applications. So I'm just gonna talk you through from left to right and top to bottom. And I'll use the first one as an example of what we can see on these cards. So Proud to Pitch In is the name of the project, the name of the fund that's open. It's run by Green King, so we have partnered with Green King, the brewery company, to, to launch this fund. And it's currently open for 12 days. This is an example, actually, this project is not quite unique, but it's a little bit different, this fund, sorry, in that there are several rounds of funding available from Green King. You can see here on the card what we're saying is the total, this is what you'll see when you go into Action Funder. The total fund amount available of 30,000. The amount available per project, which is up to 3,000 pounds. The only thing which can be misleading on these uh, screenshots is the location. In the case of Proud to Pitch In, the fund is available nationwide, so it's all across the UK. So any project that's based in the UK or working to benefit uh, beneficiaries in the UK will be, will be eligible. What we can't see on these cards, but what you will see when you log into Action Funder is 
the, the kind of areas of focus or the themes that the funder is interested in. Now, in the case of Green King, they're particularly interested in sports, projects that benefit sport and physical health. A lot of the other funds that we'll look at have more broad areas that may be more focused narrowly geographically. So if we move on to the, the next three cards and neighbourhood funds that are run by with us in collaboration with Southwest Water. And you can see there's three there aimed at three different areas of, of the Southwest. So there's Cornwall in the Isles of Scilly, there's Bournemouth and there's Southwest Water. Um, the people at Southwest Water are very interested in supporting a range of different projects. Um, the, the key thing, of course, is your project is based in one of those locations. Just to um, summarise, they're interested in projects that protect nature and the environment, um, that provide new opportunities for people to learn and develop, um, that bring communities together virtually or physically, um, and that support the upkeep of local neighbourhood centres and facilities. So if your project hits one or more of those criteria and you're based in one of those areas, you would be very eligible for funding. Moving on um, and into the northwest of England, where I'm from, always good to see. So we have a, a combined here, Sykes Cottages and Cheshire for Good have come together as two separate business entities to run a fund aimed at groups based specifically in the county of Cheshire. They're interested in a whole range of, of areas from mental health to education to nature. Um, the really key thing there is, first of all, that they are based in Cheshire and secondly, that this is a fund that closes in seven days, so quite quickly. So what I didn't mention with the neighbourhood funds in the southwest is they're running for quite a long time. They're open for three months, where some of these have, have, have quite shorter time spans. The next um, just, yeah. just one thing to add in here um, that might help for people is just um, to flag that one thing that is different about Action Funder is that these funds, yes, they are um, this sort of timeline that we've got showing here that says ends in 12 days. That just means that, that at that point, uh, no further matches will be made and no, uh, effectively no new projects can apply for those funds. Uh, but what funders can do and what we encourage on Action Funder is funders can actually make uh, award award funding during this this time frame as well because it's a quicker transaction for funders to find projects they want to fund just because a fund you know has a longer application period like those southwest water ones doesn't mean that they're going to only wait till the end to award funding in fact i know on the southwest water ones they're awarding funding now um, for the first to to use up some of the money and then um, the rest of it later so just to just to help with this you know in terms of if you see a fund that's a really good fit for you don't wait till the end uh, because actually if great projects come on funders will fund them um, because also that you know you can apply you can, you might match with multiple funds and from the funders perspective they want to make sure they fund you and you don't fund someone else uh, you don't accept funding from someone else so hopefully that's just help helpful to explain a bit of a difference of the process here and, and one final thing just to say Dan just because I'm conscious of time if you want to if anyone wants to find out more information about the specifics on each of these funds you can just go to the homepage actionfunder.org and scroll down to where we have fun funding in action I think it's called and you can click view more and you can then just see all of these and click on that see fund button to to see all of the information you need. That's really helpful, thanks James. And yeah, just going back to the example of Cheshire for Good and the Sykes Cottages Fund, that's a specific example where the funder has already funded two projects um, that they thought were, were a perfect fit for their criteria. So although, although the fund remains open, those projects that got in early, have all, some of them have already secured funding. I will be quick in wrapping up. So the next, the first three funds on the bottom row are all London based. So we have three specific funds there for different areas of London, one for Westminster, one for Camden, one for Islington, on different funders. Hockley Mills is based in Birmingham. And the Our Space Award by Groundwork is uh, London wide. So across all the 33 boroughs of London. And again, you, so you can see there, hopefully we've got both a geographical spread, you know, projects all that cover the UK, some that are region specific in the North, the Southwest, in London, in Birmingham and so on and a range of different areas of focus, some that are very, very broad in the areas of focus they look for and some that are very specific. So Action Funder really is a great place to find funding wherever you're based and whatever your kind of the aims of your project are. I think that's it, back to you, Pree.
You're on mute, Karine. Am I? Am I on mute? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you, James, for the uh, presentation. That was really useful. Um, I've just answered a question from Lynn on the chat, um, just to repeat what uh, James just said. So these you could see the funds on the platform if you go on the homepage, but you will only receive email notifications about the funds that are relevant to you. So you're kind of like, we, we're cutting through the noise ahead of sending any communication. Uh, we had one question on the chat as well from Alison. How long does it take from a match to getting to know if you are successful? Um, well, I guess, first of all, that depends at what stage you get matched, because if you already have a project on the platform that gets matched on day one, you might have to wait until uh, the end of the fund. So if it's a month, if it's a month and the funder decides to only let the project know after the deadline, then I would say hopefully within two, two to three weeks of the deadline. Yeah, I would just add to that, Perrine, uh, just to clarify, yeah, you, you, if you're successful, you might learn, you'll learn instantly um, from a, a funder sending you a funding invitation. So as soon as they make that decision on the platform, you get an instant notification. And as I explained, that can happen whilst the fund is live, as well as once the fund has closed. Typically, um, we decisions are made within a week of the fund closing and if you're unsuccessful you will definitely know uh, as soon as those final decisions have met, been made we inform everyone and say if you are unlucky this time you're then able to then go and edit that project which might then allow you to be matched with another funder as well so um yeah. Good steer is within a week of the fund closing, you should have an update, whether successful or not. And if you're successful, you would learn before then as well. Thank you. Um, another question that list of funders only showed 10. Are there more? So we've had over 20 funds on the platform live since May. Uh, these 10 are currently live, which means these are all the funding opportunities running on the platform right now um, and we're expecting more to come on soon um, but you can see all of the one now live and closed again in that same section um, another question from andrea i'm volunteering in a local community group if our group needs to create a new project on action from the platform or the funding can be for the can the funding be for the core purpose of our community sorry I'm not, not saying that question right. Um, Preen, I wonder if it's just worth us asking Andrea just to explain if she's able to unmute. Yeah, uh, if that, that would be really good, actually. Yeah. Andrea, are you out there? If you're keen, of course. No? Um, I could attempt an answer by saying, um, if, Andrea, we understand your your question correctly which is that you have a kind of ongoing mission to give grants to neighbours and that is effectively the way I suggest that you might interpret an action fund if you're able to predict over a, a set period of time how much grants you would give to neighbours in a certain geographical location which hopefully is possible um, you may be able to kind of pass that up into a specific project so helping neighbours in you know Camden over December, then that could be a specific project. That the funder would see there are tangible outcomes, or you know, estimated number of beneficiaries, and so on. That's probably the most practical way to use Action Funder for your purposes. Beyond that, if you need core funding, that's certainly something we could we could advise you on as well. But Action Funder is mainly set up to be kind of project specific funding. I hope that answers the question. Please feel free to say if not. Oh, Andrew's in the office. So, Andrew, you're very welcome to contact us on the back of this through the Action Funder chat function uh, if you have more specific questions. And we would we would be very happy to support you in more detail um, on your project needs. I'm just going to answer a quick question from Alison as well, saying she helps two charities. How do you set them both up? Uh, ideally, you'd have two separate email address and then create an account for both charities. Uh, so charity number one, organization profile and projects, charity number two, organization profile and projects. 
Uh, Claire had the question as well on Greenking. We uploaded our profile and project and received notification from Greenking after about three weeks of putting it up. That's good. That I hope that answers the question on the timings. <laughs> but, but maybe just to clarify there, Claire, um, I assume is that a was that a positive notification or were you just informed that you were un unsuccessful? Because I think yeah, just letting I think that that should should hopefully um sort of confirm that you know we we let you know either way and um you know if you were uh successful you would have found out straight away which is um which is good yeah sorry basically uh we then got something through from charities foundation just to check that we were who we were yeah. and had sent statements and bank details so hopefully fingers crossed we're just waiting then that's all been approved so we're just waiting then for funding to come through Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. And and just on that specific fund, um, on on Green King, we do have a and that um, that additional effort on the due diligence side for Charities Trust is something we're looking to smooth out. Um, at this point, we're having to to do that uh, with that specific fund, but we don't have to do it on all of the funds, and we're looking to smooth that out. So I appreciate that it's slightly longer and and uh, a bit um, more effort on that fund specifically. So bear with us. James, we have another uh, question on the product on the platform. Is it possible to save your project as you create it? Yes, it absolutely is, and um, we appreciate that um, you want to. You, when doing these this type of thing, you might want to come away, go away, and come back to it. So there's a um, if even if you can close the window, it's it saves at each stage. Uh, so you it saves where you're at and you're able to go back to it um, there's also a button that says save as a draft but it, even if you closed it it would save and um, so yeah cover that off and I appreciate that that's a helpful um, feature for you. Right we have one minute left so we have maybe time for the last question. If not uh, I will uh, finish with a, maybe a, a recommendation uh, if you're not yet on Action Funder to at least create a new profile for your organization. As we mentioned earlier, you will be getting notification as soon as a fund launches in your area, which means you'll be able to create a project that is, I don't want to say tailored to the fund because your project is your project, but a project that will match the fund's uh, total budget, for example, or focus areas. So do create your profile. Don't hesitate to reach out if you're having any issues. If you have any question, we have a chat on Action Founder, which is the little pink button at the top right of uh, the bottom right of your screen. And you can also reach out on hello at actionfounder.org. But I will send all this information through in an email uh, later this week. So if there's no more questions. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, Andrea, we'll talk to you later then. If there's no more question, I'm going to let you all go off to your lunch and I hope you find this session useful and see you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, speak soon.